everyone so welcome to today's spring into action video i do want to apologize for the lateness of this video because honestly it was my birthday <laughs> on tuesday and i was like you know what i'm gonna spend the time that i need for my birthday and get right back into this on thursday and then also a new episode will be going up on saturday so don't you worry i'm sorry about all the lateness of the videos but I did promise two videos a week for the Spring Into Action series, so that's what we're doing today. Um, so today we are talking about cleaning your spirit. So are you spiritual at all? Do you practice any religions? Do you do anything to give back to your community to fill your spirit inside? We're going to be talking about that today, and if you want to comment about that, feel free to. This is a very... Um, be very I know religion is a very controversial topic but I am very open here I grew up as a Christian and now I am very much into tarot in the believing of the universe and as astrology has something to do with our you know our makeup here as humans that's what I believe in so I pretty much have all those different views so do not be afraid and you obviously do not have to comment on that question but if you do feel called to feel free um, but like I said today we're going to be talking about cleaning your spirit because we've already talked about cleaning our minds and cleaning our bodies now I do want to check in did you go ahead and do that exercise challenge as I talked about this week I have on my actual birthday I went for a half mile walk with my boyfriend with my dogs so that was awesome and then yesterday I walked my dogs and then today I am definitely going to be walking them. So that's been my daily uh, routine is to make sure that I walk my dogs every single day. Um, so that's been awesome and it's an honestly been like a recharge activity especially when I get tired at like 4 p.m. when it's like the end of a work day but I still have like the whole rest of the night to go it's like a nice time for me to go outside enjoy my time with my dogs enjoy my music and just zen out but yeah so today clean your spirit so this is my little doodles that I did uh, that I just filled out and I did my um, astrology sign which is Leo that's my Sun sign and then this is just a you know yin yang sign I thought that was perfect and I did some doodles this doodle comes with my book, but I did the doodles on the outside myself. So it says here, research. Take notes on things you want to learn more about. For example, tarot, doing your own readings, pick a card uh, slash reading videos, um, a card a day, astrology, there's daily horoscope, birth chart, moon cycles, and religion. Do you attend church? Do you want to volunteer to help in new ways, like with the Sunday school, or just in the church in any sort of way of, you know, um, being a deacon, being, you know, on session, being whatever um, groups you have in your church. So let's go through this. So research. The important part of your spiritual growth is to research and find things that you feel best suits your beliefs. So for example, as I was growing up, I was very much believing in God and uh, Jesus and the Christian stories in the Bible. But as I grew older, I still do believe those things. But I also believe in tarot and astrology where, you know, your birth chart is very important to who you are and what goes on in the moon and the stars and um, astrologically wise with the planets is really important. Um, and with tarot, it's a divination tool that you can use to further, you know, expand in your growth. So that's stuff that I'm interested in is tarot, astrology, and religion. This could be anything for you if you are into Buddhism or if you are Catholic or if you just read the Bible every day. Whatever it is that you do, that this is the research part of just kind of figuring out your spiritual life of course not everyone has to believe anything i know that there are atheists out there and other people that believe in different things uh like for example my boyfriend is an in the closet pagan so he believes in that sort of stuff and i'm kind of researching it myself that was actually something i wanted to put on my list here um paganism for my boyfriend um but the first question that i put here in my workbook is 
what things do you want to research? So for me, especially, I would like to research more about crystals and the meaning of crystals because crystals have a lot of energy in them, um, what I've learned so far, but I feel like that there is a lot more things that I could be learning about crystals and I do have a lot of them so I feel like I should be doing more research in terms of crystals. Memorizing tarot card meetings. I am a tarot card reader that I do on the side like not as a job or anything but more as a hobby and um, one thing for me is I do know most of the meetings. It's just that sometimes I'm like what does that mean again? So just memorizing them like I know the overall gist of what they mean. I just would really like to memorize them especially when it comes to love readings or career readings like there's different meanings for different aspects of your life. So that is something that I look in, am looking into. Cleansing energy. So cleansing my aura, cleansing my energy from all the negative energies from the world or when I go out places like what I believe in is you can carry some energies that other people put on you. Like for example I had really happy energy the other day when I was with my boyfriend we went to the Dollar Tree on my birthday to get some school supplies and this woman at the cash register complimented on my unicorn shirt and then in turn I was like thank you and we exchanged good energy there so but for example uh, there could be like we went out to dinner my boyfriend and I that day too and the waitress that we had was very like kind of rude kind of just like to the point just didn't really have much personality and I felt like I carried that energy with me as I left the restaurant it was just kind of like whoa I should probably change my energy here um so yeah and I ended up having like a like I don't know I just seemed like upset afterwards and I wasn't sure why but now that I look back on it that woman was just very negative like she had a lot of negative energy so that's something that I'm very much a believer of is everyone carries energy and I want to learn how to cleanse my own energy when I deal with people like that. Birth charts I want to learn more about birth charts and sun moon rising signs what the meanings of them are um, especially for other people because I want my friends to know more about themselves so that is definitely something I want to research more. Communicating to spirit guides. Um, it's definitely something that's way out there for some people but I do believe that everyone has a spirit guide um, in some way or another whether it is God or Jesus or just any sort of spirit guide ever. Um, I want to figure out who my spirit guides are and how I can communicate with them through meditation. Um, Paganism, like I was saying, my boyfriend is an in-the-closet pagan. Um, he wants to, you know, express, once he moves out of his parents' house, he wants to explore it more and incorporate an altar and everything. So um, that is definitely something that he is interested in. I want to learn more about it. Um, and raising my vibration. I feel like sometimes my vibration is, way, uh, like, high one day, low the next, and I want to, like, maintain the balance, is what I meant to say, is, like, raising my vibration and maintaining the balance of the higher vibration. And this section is really short, so we're on, already on the last two sections here, but that is okay. Um, so at the top here, it's about daily practice. So, um, what I mean by daily practice is, it, this doesn't necessarily mean something that you do pretty much every single day but pretty much in your daily life like during your weeks during your months you should have like a daily practice of something of what you believe in so like for example praying like do you pray every night pray every morning do you incorporate prayer in your daily practice talk to spirit guides and ancestors again that's something i'm learning but do you personally do that that would be awesome if you did i want to learn more uh cleansing yourself from negativity or negative energy definitely. Gratitude, even just saying three things that you're grateful for, writing in your journal three things that you're grateful for, that is definitely a form of a daily spiritual practice because you're expressing what you're grateful for in the present moment. And that is very much like the basics of the basics of spirituality. Sacred space, so like cleaning your sacred space, being in your sacred space, doing a tarot card reading, etc. And manifestation. Um, that has to do with the law of attraction, which is another stem of spirituality. So if you're into that, maybe that's part of your daily practice. So how can you practice your spirituality daily? So that's something else that you can ask yourself and write in your journal. But as you write in your journal, I can share with you some of the things that I want to practice in my spirit daily spirituality practices. 
um, a daily tarot reading. I do that anyways. Like every couple days I'll do like a mass tarot reading and just put it on my spirituality desk or table I should say. And so maybe for you, maybe you're a Christian so maybe every single morning or every single night you could incorporate a daily Bible reading or incorporate a daily prayer um, thing before bed. Whatever the case may be. And of course, like I said, you can even start small. If you're not super into religion or super into spirituality, that's okay. Even just every morning and every night or vice versa, one of the two. Just writing out three things that you're grateful for and why. That can start up something that you never knew before in terms of your spirituality. Like I just put here, daily gratitude of writing in my journal or even saying it out loud to somebody that I'm talking to, like incorporating into the conversation is really nice as well. Learning something new and reading something. I have a lot of spirituality books. I just got a couple. I'm getting one more in the mail today um, that I can read through. So that is always something that I can do every day. Or if I don't feel like reading, just learning something new, like watching tarot reading videos or you know, learning something new about Law of Attraction or doing my research stuff. Again, this doesn't have to be every day, but just whatever you can during the week. Um, but it would be good to have like a daily spiritual practice to, you know, go to to help you uh, strengthen your bond with the universe and God and whoever you believe in. Um, and keeping an eye out for the moon cycles is definitely something that I do. Right now the moon is in Taurus, so a lot of us are just relaxing. Relaxation is a big term right now. So if you're feeling like relaxing, that's why. <laughs> it's just the energy in the universe. But for me personally, I love looking at the moon cycles to see when the full moon is coming, when the new moon is coming, um, what sign the moon is in. And all that stuff really interests me. So again, this could be as small as you writing a daily gratitude list or as big as what I have here. So whatever floats your boat. And then our last section here, as I mentioned before, even if you're not super religious, not super spiritual, and gratitude is still something that you're kind of iffy about, a way for you to boost your or clean your spirit and uh, and give yourself a more positive spirit at the end of the day is just giving back to your community. Now this is huge. It not only helps somebody else, but it also lifts your spirits up for, you know, you're giving back to somebody in need. So for example, what you could do is volunteer, donate, or participate in an event or something like say if there's like a cancer walk or if there's like a blood drive like doing participating in something so how can you give back to your community you can journal about this but this is what i wrote is that donating money to charities whether it's online or actually giving like maybe a dollar or two to like you know the um like you see the people ringing the bells around christmas time you would give money to them whatever the case may be just giving back to your community um for me personally, volunteering to run Creative Quarantine, I run a group online with my friends. I do it voluntarily. I do not make money off of it. I just do it for the fact of it gives back to my friends and vice versa. I get my spirit lifted from it. Basically, every single week, my, fr my boyfriend and my two friends, we go on video chat together. We do a whatever creative hobby we're interested in that day, whether it's we could be just cleaning our room or it could be coloring, painting, uh, working on a certain art project, whatever the case may be, bracelet making, whatever we're kind of into. And we just talk about our mental health. We check in with each other once a week. We just ask, how has your mental health been the last week? And what have you done about it? And what's been happening? And it's like our weekly check-in with each other. And it's really nice. So I volunteer myself to run it or to, you know, get everyone to come on to um, video chat together and check in with everybody. Like if somebody can't make it, they'll usually text me kind of a thing. And sign online petitions. This is something I've done recently. Uh, there was a boy in my town with Down syndrome that wasn't allowed to go to a children's attraction because he was too old and a lot of people had a lot of uproar about it because he could still be able to go like just because he has a disability or because he's too old like why can't he go kind of a thing so I signed an online petition for that certain attraction that certain place 
to change their policies kind of a thing. So that's giving back to your community because like that was really unfair and it's something that I believe in like because I have a cousin with autism and like say if he was denied entry somewhere I would be really upset as well so or it could be as you know a big organization per se like the Black Lives Matter movement or the LGBT community like when they were trying to get gay marriage approved which they did which is awesome but just signing online petitions of things that you believe in excuse me is giving back to your spirit giving back to your community and lifting your spirits up so I hope you guys enjoyed this so your little challenge for the next week or the next couple of days is definitely find something spiritual whether it's giving back to your community incorporating a daily practice uh, finding a religion that you like finding things in terms of spirituality that you like like tarot astrology or law of attraction and study it take uh, maybe even like five minutes or a half an hour or however long that you can to study that spiritual side which this is going to be very easy for me because I do this every single day I either do a tarot reading or do research or read something so do something that we talked about today and let me know how it goes in the next video on Saturday and on Saturday we'll be talking about cleaning your environment so that's one that one's gonna be a big one and guess what guys we're already halfway through the series which is incredible to even think about um and then it's like already like halfway through the month pretty much um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think of it down below huge announcement if you're interested i have a sale going on on my facebook shop link will be in the description and every single painting is either $10 or $20. $20 for 16 by 20 paintings or $10 for anything below that. So I hope that you will check that out for this very special birthday sale since it was my birthday the other day. And without further ado, I will see you guys on Saturday with a new video. Bye guys!